The old European-style dairy barns at Indian Spring Farm in Harford County tell one part of a history that stretches back to the Revolutionary War. During the Revolutionary War, the French troops were marching to Yorktown, and they camped here after crossing the Susquehanna River. But there are other artifacts built into the farm's 850 acres that tell another part of its story, as a place for conservation. This 1940s water diversion that cuts through the woods is still in use today. Basically what a diversion does is take the water that's coming off the steeper slope and make it travel a longer ways before it's outletted, in this case, into the woods so that there won't be any erosion in the field. Conservation measures like this are especially important here. Seven streams and creeks cut through the land, forming a fast track to the Chesapeake Bay. For the farm's current owner, Lee McDaniel, the health of the farm in the bay is a priority. You know, one thing that I think most farmers want to do, and most people in general want to do, is leave the world in a better place than the way they found it. So I've always had an interest in making our land to be more productive and better for future generations. In 1959, Lee's family moved here from a New Jersey town, and 10-year-old Lee quickly fell in love with his new surroundings. I took an immediate interest in agriculture and, and farming, spent my summers here and weekends working on the farm, and so that's what I pursued when I went to college. After college, he returned to the farm and set out to continue its conservation legacy. He added two more diversions and started practicing a no-till style of farming. That means planting crops without plowing the soil. There's a crop residue that consists of soybean stubble, there's some weeds in here and some residue from some tillage radish, which was the cover crop that was planted here. And it's also providing organic matter. That organic matter improves the ground's ability to absorb and retain water, reducing the risk of runoff. No-till is also faster when it comes to planting a new crop, like these soybeans. Before you're plowing, disking, Call to packing and five or six times across the field. So it's both a time saver and it's also better for the ground. Lee's conservation work also extends off the farm. He's been involved in soil conservation districts at the local, state, and national level. He became the president of the National Association of Conservation Districts in 2015, a job that took him around the country. A new addition to the last farm bill is the Regional Conservation Partnership Program, which provides a unique way to... During his time at NACD, Lee testified before Congress about fitting conservation into the new farm bill and visited 48 states, plus Puerto Rico and Guam. This meant seeing things that are foreign to Maryland. But being a Maryland farmer gave him an important vantage point when it came to conservation. Some of the things that you see in other parts of the country, I would say in some cases they're probably 20 years behind where Maryland is in terms of conservation. And it's not that they are doing a bad job, they just don't have the pressure that we have with the significance of an international natural resource like we have here with Chesapeake Bay. Now that Lee is immediate past president, he has more time to focus on his own farm both in the short term of this growing season and its long-term health. Well, this farm is in the Harford County Agricultural Preservation Program. My three kids are all professionals in other areas. I'm not sure that they're gonna be the ones that are farming it, but I do know that it's gonna remain in agriculture, and that makes me even more committed to doing the right things for the land.